Good morning, it's Sheila from She's the Sassy Lady. And I thought I'd join you today with a layout. It's been so long and I've gotten a couple emails saying, Sheila, you haven't been doing any layouts. So what I did is I'm starting a new photo album for 2012 and I'm literally challenging myself. First off, I want to say um, Amazing Grace, Beatrice. She is doing a an album where she's doing like a page for each um, for each, like, uh, this would be for winter, uh, February 4th, you know, for Valentine's Day, etc., etc. So what I did is I have, I used to be a creative memories consultant years and years ago, and I had some old albums that are the old size, you know, that aren't quite 12 inches. They're like 11 and 3 quarter inches, 12 by 11 and 3 quarter. So it's a challenge to be able to do this. But what's even more of a challenge is I have never done an album in black. And that's what I'm doing for my for this year's album is a black. It's uh, I bought this years ago. I, they don't even have these available anymore. It's leather and it's black. And I'm really excited because years ago I bought it thinking, ah, oh, it'll just be gorgeous. And Beatrice and, and and all the ladies on my design team, they are all doing albums and they're doing such a phenomenal job and I've got to get back to it and I am just so impressed that they're just staying with it and I got lazy and started doing cards so we're gonna do some photo albums or uh, some scrapbook pages and so we'll get going on that and we'll just have a good time doing this at any rate I'm gonna put you on hold right away can you stand it my zip dry is all dried up I've got to get something to unclog it okay I'm back I have to tell you, I've had a very difficult time this morning. I um, had a hard time. I Anyone that uses coordinations and has an expression to, please put a comment on this and let me know what you set your settings at because I was cutting three times through to get a cut through. And it shouldn't take three and four times. It took uh, this um, these Victorian romance ones. Um, the silhouettes that I did took three cuts through and it shouldn't take that so I thought you know I obviously I'm doing I'm setting my expression to is new and I am just having a hard time understanding where I set my my uh, settings to and uh, if anyone can give me a suggestion as to what to do I sure would appreciate it because uh, I really had a hard time cutting this out. Anyway, um, what I like about the expression too, though, it, the intricate cuts, it handles it with a, a piece of cake, you know, it just really does a good job. But I used that coordination paper that I got at Joann's, and um, it's so nice and thick. But I want to tell you, ooh, I didn't want to put that on the girl. Oh, well. It's on there now. I'll get something to wipe it off. I want to do just the uh, the frame right now. I welded the fancy frame and the Victorian man and woman dancing together, and I thought, what a wonderful cover that'll be. I haven't got the picture yet. I'll put a picture of Jim and I together, you know, my handsome hubby, and that'll be the cover page of our photo album. I, I like to do a different cover page every year and that'll make a great little cover page and um, but until I get the right photo uh, it's just going to be blank and that happens a lot because I never know what I'm going to put and it seems like halfway through the year we get uh, the picture I want uh, for a couple years I did a collage of pictures but this time I'm going to do just him and I um, a picture of us together because we don't get that many pictures of us together and you know we're getting old aren't we all and uh, I tell you lately we've had a couple friends uh, really have emergencies happen in their life where their whole entire life changed uh, car accident you know thing like that and uh, you start thinking twice and really start uh, cherishing the time that you do have and I, this is a baby wipe and I thought I'd take a little bit of the glue off there 
ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, like this. Oops, I see a little piece on the edge there. But ooh, I just love these frames on fancy frames, don't you? They're just so beautiful. And I use my zip dry so that I can line this up and move it because it's so intricate. I want to be able to just get it lined up. And if it's off a little bit, I don't care because I really like that dark blue showing through a little bit. Okay. I found out that baby wipes are really good for getting glue off. And you know me with my glue on, on my uh, stuff here on my counter. Hubby will be so impressed. He'll come home and it won't be glue all over. Okay. Now, I've got the um, frame on it. And I didn't pop the frame. Because I kind of looked at it and looked at it. And I didn't pop the frame. The frame will sit on there like that. Won't that be beautiful? I don't know if I can get you zoomed out enough where you can see that. I moved the camera instead of zooming. I've got it zoomed out all the way as it is. Okay. Now, I've got that. What I want to do is I want to pop it up, the, the people. And it's dry enough where I can pop it now. I got my little pop dot, or my, my tape. Look at my scissors, guys. Don't you just love this? Mm -mm -mm. I got scissors and I got a tape dispenser, too. That, You know how I'm always groping for scissors. Well, I was going through Hobby Lobby, saw those, and you know I had to get it. I thought that's perfect. I want to pop this guy and the lady out that are dancing. I put them together. They were really intricate. See that? I, I put them um, together. Oops, sorry, I had it upside down. Put them together. See how pretty that is? And I have them ready. I glued them already. to the end of that roll of tape. But I got another roll right next to me, so I won't have to get up again. But it's been so long since I've done layouts, I really had a good time with this, I have to tell you. Although it was like trying to remember. Cards are really, it's totally different when you do a card than when you do a layout and um, I actually designed three different layouts I just need to cut them and I had uh, a dental problem went to the dentist last week and they did some work on my mouth and I developed a huge sore in the inside of my mouth so I had to go back to the dentist today and um, I can talk again It's amazing what a dentist can do. They can fix you up in no time at all. I actually have been to the dentist twice today. I had a 10 o'clock appointment, then they had to go back and check me to make sure that things weren't getting worse, that I was doing okay. So they did that. And I'm doing fine now. Okay, now we're going to pop the lady. I wonder if I shouldn't glue this down first. I think before I pop them, I better get this down on my... Because I have an edge here that I'm probably going to end up with a um, razor blade trying to get that. And I didn't bring a razor blade. And then all I have to do is lay in the picture. 
on the file, and I will give you this file so that you can do it. On the file, I have a mat. I didn't cut out the mat yet, uh, just in case I have to adjust the mat a little bit. Um, when I get the right picture, I might just put the picture in without a mat. Otherwise, I'm going to lay... I, I actually think I'm going to do it without a mat. But what I'm going to do is not put here... I am not going to put the um, or pull the tape off this so that I can slide. You know what I mean? I can just take and I can slide the picture in, pull up those two pieces, and then lay it back down. So that'll be sitting there like that, but I'll be able to lift up that portion. See what I mean? Okay. Let's get this glued down. Get that. Mm -mm -mm. See how I have it off by a little bit? Which really looks nice because I use such... The one thing I like about that black is it sure looks awesome. You know what I mean? It just... The contrast is really awesome. But I think it's going to be a challenge for making layouts all year long. And... Um, but of course, some of them will, will will be matted. You know, a lot of mine I'll use color pack, paper background. But I do want to take advantage of that black and lay colors on top of it because I think it will be such a stark contrast that it'll look great. So I hope I'm not boring you too much. I uh, challenge this week is a layout been so long I want to see some layouts um, any kind of layout and I'll give away uh, I'm going to be using because it gets so expensive to give I I mean I don't have sponsors in that I don't accept money on my blog which you all know you don't have to look at ads um, so I'm going to start giving away those little studio 12 stamp sets so that I can give away one every week opposed to every now and then give stamp sets away. Oh, we're almost there. It's a lot of gluing. It's going to be beautiful. And I have the page protectors for this photo album so that'll look nice. Okay. Plenty of glue on there. Get some of the ones I can see are dried up on the top there. Oops, oops, oops. One of the little goodies stuck. Stick it on the scissors so it doesn't. I don't want to get glue on this leather album. I know I can wash off my... Oh, is that beautiful. Love it. Just love it. Get his legs back on there. Now, we'll leave those two on there for the head and that so that we can put the picture in. Slide it in, you know. And it'll be real easy to pull these off. See, now this is really, I mean, intricate, intricate cut. You spend most of your time cutting and then putting together the two little pieces, but the layout itself is simple. It's actually just one, two, three, four pieces. And look how intricate it looks. Oh, look how pretty. My knight in shining armor there.
there. Oops, his thing isn't glued on all the way. Or not glued on. Um, it will have to be glued to stay down. Because there is not a... Um, the um, foam tape just doesn't run that narrow. But I can tack it down with just a little bit of glue here and it'll be fine. My glue pen is almost empty here. There we go. Perfect. Now, I want you to see something. Notice my edge right here. It's gone off the edge, and but with the Creative Memories, their page protectors isn't closed up here. It's open. So it'll actually be okay to have that hanging over just a little bit on the outside of it. And it'll be okay just sitting out like that. But isn't that page just gorgeous? So drastic. Dramatic, I should say. Dramatic. Love it. There we go. That's it for today. Simple, simple layout um, that I still have to, that's my cover page on my new photo album for the year. And I got some zip dry glue here. Better rub it off. There we go. And uh, all I have to do is drop the picture in just by sliding it in like this. And oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to put our name down here. Just put McShay on there. That's my last name, ladies, McShay. And I got some gemstone alphabet. And how easy is this going to be just to lay the letters on? just right down here and that's my little bit of bling on there and I'll add those and then you'll see it when it's completely done and I don't think I'm going to add those boy what a pain in the rear those are thank you so much bye now